You guys, I'm laughing. Do not mind my hair. Um, I'm just laughing because Marlene was telling me uh, I was doing something on YouTube and she was saying how she missed doing hauls. Yo, when we do hauls, clothing <laughs> hauls, we be fighting. Yeah, we me and Marlene so fight. And, and let me tell y'all this. The other day when I uploaded that video, that cooking video, what was it? The, oh, yeah, the, the Cajun chicken pasta. We got into such a fight. Me and her got into such a fight that the ending of the video, it wasn't the way that it was supposed to be. Yeah, I didn't pero, even eat the whole meal. I didn't bro, take the meal at all. We were fighting, me and this one. When we get into these screaming matches, it's just like, yeah, <laughs> y'all think it's bad. It's bad. She'd be exaggerating. It's not even that bad. Marlene, you weren't screaming at me mad loud and we were like going back and forth. Because my sister, Darlene is a type of Leo that she could be a little ignorant. She does not like oh to apologize. Oh my God. And she does not like to admit when she's wrong. Darlene. So does Marlene sometimes. Nah, nah. She but she'll, she'll apologize yeah, sometimes. She, she's more prideful than I am. She, she tells me all the time. She don't like to be told no. She don't like to be told no. that she's wrong. And that's a problem. And I'm like, you I don't mind being, being told no, like, that I have to, like, fix certain things. Yeah, I just don't right. like. <laughs> yeah, right. She gets tight when you I tell I just her. don't like to apologize. No, I don't. She gets I tight don't. when you tell her that she's wrong. Like, she's. Bro. Yeah, I know my sister. She just don't like to. Like, she's just crazy. So, so I'm going to go to Starbucks in a little bit. Um, I'm going to get this new drink. I follow this girl on Instagram, and she gets Starbucks coffee all the time. And she mixes different drinks together. So, for example, she did... The other day, she tried this drink. It was like a regular coffee, and she made it taste like um, carrot cake, if that makes any sense. So, this drink is a, it's supposed to be, instead of a caramel macchiato, it's a... Coconut macchiato. I don't know how she's going to do it. I'm just going to look at the, you know, ingredients that she's going to tell me to get when I go to Starbucks. And she tries to do drinks that don't have a lot of calories or a lot of, like, sugars, if that makes any sense. You guys, look at the ladybug. It's been in my house, but I want to make sure it goes outside because I don't want it to die inside my house. So I'm trying to see... If it will go on the floor. Let's go, ladybug. Come on. Good. Bye-bye. By the way, you guys, uh, they came out with this lavender drink. They have the lavender, I want to say something, ice frappuccino maybe. And then they have matcha and lavender. You guys, I went to the website last night. And then I went to Instagram.com. Not Instagram instagram.com the app and i went to starbucks right and i saw all the comments and everybody was saying that the lavender tastes so bad it tastes like soap so if you guys never had violets i think that's what it tastes like um a violet and i love the violet candies but um i don't think i would like that drink i'm not really a matcha girl either so let me know down below if you've tried it because it's like a hint of floral um, that's what it says on the website, on the Starbucks website, like when I went on the app and stuff. So I don't know. I don't think I would like that either. So I got a three tall pistachio ice latte. You know how hard it was for me to talk to the guy on the freaking intercom? We used to work together and his voice sounds really nice, but you know, it's hard for me to say pistachio. It was so hard for me to say, I'm like, this month, the effort is going to think that I don't know how to speak. These you are know. good, by the way, you guys. Yeah, so let me try it. Mm. Oh my God, this reminds me of the fall. So like a hint. my sister got me one the other day. That's how I know it tastes good. She she couldn't take it. I mean, she, they, she went to the drive They messed up my yeah. order. Marlene can't speak, so yes. they messed up my order. So I ended up only getting one. Um, but this one is really, really good. Like I told you guys, um, when I was in the right. Starbucks, by the way, they fixed the street. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So it's going to get messed up again because they didn't do a good job, but, um, they had that lavender matcha thing and I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm definitely not going to try that. I think I'm going to try next time matcha because I've been seeing a new girl on YouTube be obsessed with matcha and chai together. So I'm going to try it and see if I like it. 
But this right here is really, really good. You just got to shake the bottom a little bit because all like the caramel sauce that they put is at the bottom. Or maybe it's sugar. I'm not they sure. They put um, actual pistachio pieces on the top. Yeah. And um, it tastes so good. It, so it's good. I just feel like sometimes these drinks, no matter how much ice they put, it's like hot, like warm. You know yeah, what I mean? You so gotta you gotta, shake them constantly. Yeah. So I ordered some stuff from Shein. And let me show you everything that I got. I got, I gotta open these, but these are some shades. So I got, I wanna say three. I'll show you that in a minute because I'm gonna be making some shades. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be um, in another video when I make them. So here are them. And then I got some additional stuff. I got me a wax pencil right here. I think I ordered two of these. And then I ended up ordering some of these like gems in pink because I'm going to use these for the glasses. I only paid $16 for all of this stuff. Um, another wax pencil. And as you can see, let me just move it up a little bit closer so you can see. For some reason, every wax pencil that I use, like it just ends up breaking like the wax. So I ended up buying two because I need those. And then I ended up getting a cuticle cutter. Ooh, I like this one, the gold one with the cuticle pusher and all of that because the cuticle cutter that I have now, it's um, already like not good. So I ended up buying another one. And then I ended up getting these letters right here, which just sucks because I thought it was going to bring more, but that's okay. I'll make it work. Uh, if not, I'll just go to Michael's and buy some more because I really, really need these. So wanted to get them pink. So let me show you the glasses really quick. So these are the glasses right here. I'm going to have to open all of them because they come in different colors. So let me open the other two to show you really quick. These are the colors. This is exactly what I wanted. And then these, it comes with these little like dust cleaner things for the lenses. And I love that. They were under $2 in Shein. Like seriously. And I checked other websites and they go for more. Lastly but not least, I ended up ordering some sugar scrub body sugar polish. I got these from um, Julissa Bermudez. If you guys don't know who she is, I love her. Like, I've been seeing her product for a while. And for Valentine's Day, she had buy one, get one free. These are a little bit more pricier. The ones that we get, we usually use the Tree Hut brand. Uh, those are under $10 at Target. But I wanted something a little bit more like high end. There's nothing wrong with the Tree Hut one. But now that the summertime is coming, um, I want to be like glowy and like dewy and stuff like my skin. So I ended up getting these. And OMG, let me open it because I cannot wait to try this. By the way, look at the packaging. How cute. Oh my God. It comes with a little wooden spoon. Like I was so excited to use this because especially when I do my nails, like if you have long nails, you know, you wear lotion and stuff like that. You know, all that stuff gets under your nails, but I love the little wooden spoon. Oh my God. The packaging is just everything. By the way, she has the smaller ones, like the travel ones. Hold on. She has the mini ones that you could travel with. I love this. Oh my God. I cannot wait. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of this right now. Oh my God. Does it feel amazing? Oh my God. I can't. And it smells incredible. Okay, you guys, so I just, my sister did me a gel manicure. They look cute. Yeah, I did them black, obviously back to black, and I cut them because one of my nails broke, so I had to cut them, so yeah, they look super cute. I'm trying to tell Darlene to do hers, but she's being super lazy. 
I might do mine really quick. All I have to do is just paint them. Yeah, Because I already did. Oh, I just got to cut my cuticles. I already filed them and everything like that. So I might just paint them really quick. Super cute. Nails done. Nails and workout done. Now it's time to eat lunch. So cute. So I just got my order. I'm super excited because I didn't have no shampoo whatsoever. And I got one for me, one for my sister. More fiber, more tea. I got the ginger one because I really like the ginger. And then I got some aloe. I like to get the big gallons because I really be running low. I use it every day, so I have to stock up. Okay, so you guys know that we bought that Dominican cake for our fake birthday and Woody's birthday. So the lady, she um, on Facebook, and she messaged me last week. She was selling another cake uh, similar to this, but the part in the middle had flan. This is a tres leche cake with dulce de leche in the middle. So I want to try it. As you guys can see, it's super moist. I'm not a fan of three milk cakes, but I'm going to try this one and see if it's good. Actually, let me take a little piece, but look at that. Try it, to see. Let me know what you think. Because mm -hmm. I'm a fan of the leche. Yeah. This hits. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm excited. This hits different. I'm not going to lie. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Here's the difference between me and the guys. Watching Made in Manhattan. Games to trick them in a one and her. And you're what? I'm working hard for the money. Speaking of which, you hand your application, management? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my red uh, beans, but I'm gonna make uh, moro, so rice with the red beans. Um, right now, I'm just taking my chota seeds right here, and I'm just putting some olive oil. As you guys can see, it's taking some color. So, let me show you what it looks like, the bottle outside. This is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna take a wooden spoon right now and take the seeds out and throw it out because if you let it cook for long, it can burn, right? Yeah, you don't. You just want it to give you color. That's yeah. what you want. Because... Let me show you again, hold on. Yeah, so like Marlene was saying, you just wanted to... Yeah, my tia Flavia showed me how to do this because I had no idea. Because, you know, my, my Dominicans from the real, real Dominicans do not use that um, achote seed things in the... Yeah. Do we have any? The powder? No, we don't have it. But it comes it in looks, the... It almost looks like this, like paprika, kind of. Yeah, so it comes in the Goya packet sometimes. You can find them. Or sazon and achote, and it comes in a packet, so they let don't like to use that, so they use it, um, you know, like this. Yeah, let me take out the seeds real quick. So this is what the oil is looking like. So right now, should I just add the onion? Yeah. I'm going to add onion right here. Okay. And it's on low heat, you guys. Yeah, I'm going to put it up. And I like to cut my onions pretty big, and then I just throw a pepper. Um, You could throw as many peppers as you want. Some people don't. Some people like to spoon this out. Put that down because that's chipiando. Um, some people like to spoon it out. Yeah, um, we eat it because we just like to. Marlene likes to eat it. I don't. Um, let me tell you something. We're putting this on low because 
I'd be scared. Like, yeah. I don't like this splatter back. Um, mm -mm. Girl, uh, splattering. Me. So, hold on, you guys. Let me show you my Dominican seasoning right here that I made. Don't mind that oil, but this is what it looks like. Okay, and it's just pepper, cilantro, onions, garlic. And we just, I put a uh, tomato in here. I also put um, vinegar. vinegar and oil. And it smells amazing, as you can see. This is what it looks like. OMG, it smells so good already. I'm using the same fork, so don't worry about that. I'm not gonna, this is a little bit of tomato paste that we have, so we're just gonna mix it in. And you just want it to dissolve because it's pretty thick. And if you leave the tomato paste like that, I've had it before where I never dissolved it when I was younger. And then you take like a little piece of tomato paste in your mouth. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. With the I, rice, yeah, yikes. Yeah, I don't mouth. like that. So we're just gonna let this melt and do its thing and then we'll show you the next step so this is how you want it to look now we're just going to add the beans and we did drain it like we washed it and then we drained the liquid that comes in it I, I don't like that liquid um if it were up to me and i had enough space in my house and my fridge is like overly stuffed with food thank you to the lord jesus christ i would have boiled my own beans in a bag but we don't have yeah. space in the fridge so we might need to get two fridges in the future yeah. because God always blesses us with a lot of food. So we're not complaining. But what I'm saying is, do you want to put the squash? You want to put squash oh, in Oh, yeah. Give me one second, you guys. I got to get that squash out the freezer and thaw it out a little bit because it's really, really frozen. Okay, so these are my beans. I'm going to add the squash. Um, this is optional. You don't have to. This is Dominican squash. It just gives a good flavor. And we just love it. So we're just going to add that. And now I'm going to add my water because my beans are super thick. And, you know, that this is, is going to be a moto. So I'm just going to add the water right now. And I'll show you that next. Okay, food police, do not come for me, okay? This is the cup that I have. This is the cup that I use. This is the amount of water that I'm going to use. From looking at my rice, I'm going to need probably a little bit more water. But this is the amount of rice I'm going to put in here, okay? I'm trying to get my thoughts together to explain it the right way. So, this is the amount of water. This is the amount of rice that I'm going to use, okay? That is it. I'm not going to add no more. Um, you measure the way that you want. I don't measure really. I just do my own thing. Eyeball, and that's just what it is. I'm just showing you guys for the video's purpose. So... We're going to need a little bit more water because of the squash. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water and I'll show you that now. So I'm going to add this amount of extra water, okay? Because the squash and everything like that. So now we're going to add some seasonings to this. Yeah, we're going to go pretty heavy on the salt because once you put in that, that rice, it's going to soak it up. Yeah, and plus the calabaza is in here. So yeah. first of all, we're going to do onion powder and I like a lot of onion powder. Why do you say, why do we add onion powder if we already put uh, Dominican seasonings and, raw and onion? onion. Because I just, we just like, like the it. flavor of the powder. So garlic powder, and I like to go a little heavy on that. Um, I do a little bit of this seasoning. I like it. Um, this is Sazon Tropical, so I like to put this in there. So I put that amount. And then I got to put some oregano, and we are using Dominican oregano so i like to take a little bit in my fingertips and then i just like to squeeze it because it releases so much of the good flavor when you do this like and the oils yeah so, so it's just like so good so good so good i am going to add black pepper off camera because you guys know that is a pepper mill i could do it oh okay hold on let me add some salt and I'll tell you right now. That should be good for now. I know I'm going to need We're gonna more need salt. We're going to need more salt. We already know that. And then let me just move this wooden spoon out of here. And then that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to add. I'm going to let this come up to a boil. I'm going to take out my rice. The rice that we're using is jasmine rice. I'm going to show you when I put it in the cup and then once it's washed. And then we'll just put it in when it's boiling. So this is my rice this is the amount of rice it don't look like a lot but it is because it grows every time i make rice with beans in it 
it just grows tremendously. So my water is coming up to a boil. I'm going to add it and then I'll show you guys. It looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Usually I would do this with my hands, but as you can see, now that I'm filming, I'm making the only mess. My grandma does it with her hands. Yeah, so. Like, straight up, yeah, and she she'll... be touching the pots mm -hmm. hot, and I'm like, Grandma, like, are you crazy? Like. Yeah, and she be splattering that. She'll be like, bah, Yeah, bah, yeah, bah. I can't. No, I can't, I can't do that Dangerous. either. Yeah, I just made a mess, so let me let this come up to a boil. So as you can see, my rice is in. It doesn't look like there's rice in it. The flavor on this rice Delicious. is so good, so bomb. I am going to add a little bit of oil because sometimes, you know, it needs it. So a little bit more oil. We're going to let this come up to a boil, let it completely do its thing. And let me move this pot. I hate when it's not in the middle. I'm going to let this boil. I'll show you when I'm going to cover it. You see, you guys, how it's coming up to a boil and it's growing. And look at the amount of rice that I use, just a little bit. So I'm just going to continue letting this do its thing, letting it dry completely. And then I'll show you and I'll cover it for like 45 minutes. So this is completely almost dry. I'm about to cover it. I just wanted to show you guys really quick. And I'll show you when it's completely done. You guys, I don't want to move it too much because of the calabaza. As you guys can see, it's like breaking. But when I tell you, you guys, amazing. this rice is amazing. Riquito, man. Amazing. The flavor. The flavor. As you can see, the peppers, if you want to take it out. But we're going to eat it. The onions. I love onions. But the flavor is fantastic. Like I said, I don't want to move it too much because the squash is falling apart. But it is done. It is soft. It's not hard. It's not overly wet, overly dry. You know what I mean? It's perfect. Mm. Uh, and it tastes amazing. I can't wait to eat. So I'm going to make a cucumber and tomato salad with some onions. We got some tomatoes, some cucumbers. We are going to be using some seasonings as well. We have some corn and some avocado. So I'm going to just chop up everything and then we're going to combine everything together. But I'll show you as we go along. So it's dressing time. So let's show you how we do this. So we're going to take some olive oil. Mar, you tell me when to stop. I think that but should I'm be good. More, yeah, just a little bit. That's good enough. I'm going to take some oregano, you guys, and just crush it with my fingers and just put it in the oregano. I, I mean, gotta... the, you mean in the oil. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper flakes, hot pepper flakes. That should be good enough. And this is just my idea because we've never done this, but... You know, um, I just know it's going to work out and it's going to be good. I'll put a little bit of garlic powder. Onion We're going to put a little bit of onion powder right there. Salt and pepper. We're going to add a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Some pepper. And then we got to use this uh, pepper mill mm -hmm. real quick. Just a little bit. We got to clean this counter when we're done. We're going to add a little splash of vinegar, which, ugh, I don't like vinegar. Yeah, but, yeah. And uh, we're just going to put some lemon juice. So I'm going to add more lemon. Well, we want the lime, but we didn't have no lime. Mm -hmm. So um, I got to be careful because of the seeds, but I'm going to add um, the rest off camera because of the seeds. I don't want them to fall in there. And then we'll show you when we add it to the salad. You guys, we tried it. We add a little bit more salt because it needed it. When I tell you this is bomb. This is the it, most refreshing, sweet salad. Like, from the corn. 
and Marlene was like, we should have just grilled the corn like on the stove yeah, top. Yeah, because no, I like to grill it in the charcoal grill because it gives you the smoky flavor. So that's what I was gonna do. But because you know, um, it's cold and I don't have my own patio like like separated. I didn't want to go out there. So you know, um, yeah, I just took this easier way. This is the first time I do this anyway, it's but it's good. delicious. It's good. This is something that you can do. Like if you guys have picnics in the summertime, just because it doesn't have mayonnaise, this is delicious yeah. though. And, if and you, add the dressing when you got to the park. Yeah, and if you didn't like to do like the dressing like that I did, you could actually buy a, a salad vinaigrette that comes in a bottle. Yeah. And then you could just squirt it on if you want yeah. to do that as well. All right, you guys. So thank you for being here. Why are you sound so low? Oh, that lipstick is gorgeous. Yes. Mine's a Stila. I don't even know what the name of it is. I was trying to get the name, but I couldn't. Um, but yeah, you guys, I've been in one of those like, um, what is it? What were you saying? Lazy no, no ambition. Yeah, like I don't have no creativity to vlog. You know what I mean? Like she I feels feel like, like we, we do, do the, the same, same thing, thing in every vlog. Mm -hmm. But it's okay because. This Friday, me and Darlene and Jose are going to have date night. We're going to go out as a family. Yeah. We haven't done shit for a long time. So this week, we're going to be dropping a couple vlogs for you guys. We're going to drop a new vlog this weekend. Um, and I'm going to drop another video on Saturday for you guys. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be popping. You guys are going to be freaking exciting. Mm -hmm. You don't even fucking understand when mm -hmm. I tell you, girl. I'm excited, You don't yeah. understand. Anyways, so... The salad um, we did, amazing. The rice, amazing. Everything is amazing. Um, we were going to do another video today, but it's gloomy. It's raining like crazy. And that just, like, plays a big toll, too. Um, like, my mood. Yeah, like. And this one was drinking a whole bunch last night. I only had two beers. Yo, we was up at 7 o'clock in the morning talking shit. Mm -hmm. Then we wake up. I was talking shit with her, smoking. Then at 8 30, I'm like, Donnie, let's wake up. And I'm like, yo, let's go get breakfast. So we went to McDonald's. Yeah. And we were watching Maria La de Bajo the whole fucking weekend, bro. Yeah, we saw Tomorrow, the we start the Supadora. I think I'm going to start it tonight. Dead I'm ass. so pissed, though, because it's just like, you know, all the good parts of Maria La de Bajo. I'm like, where is this part? Where is that part? And I wish, like, let me know down below if you guys know where. I wish they had like a channel where they play all the novelas. Cause if, sometimes they do like the read ones and stuff like that. On what TV. she means is, if you're an OG of watching Maria La de Barrio, the telenovela, right? We saw it when they were playing it in Univision, so yeah. we got the full tele, the whole novela. Yeah. The vi revised DVDs that we have, they're missing a whole bunch of steps mm -hmm. in between of what happened, and it's like, bro, when you <coughs> check it out on YouTube. <coughs> Excuse you me. get scenes that you don't get in the DVD. Bro, Soraya is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, I, I mean skills. love her. I don't know if I have lipstick on my teeth. Whatever. I don't care. But she is beautiful. And she is so talented. I love her. I'm putting my hands here because I don't know if I have uh, lipstick on my teeth. But whatever. Um... I love it. I love it. I love yeah, that novela. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. So we're going to watch the Supadora next. Um, we love that one as well. Yeah, but it's missing parts too. But, yeah, well, you know, it doesn't matter. I want to get the Esmeralda um, and Luz Clareta, but I can never find it. But yeah. you guys, so, um, we hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Thank you guys so much for all the love, for all the support. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.